Hey guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel and the series Landing a Design Job in 2022. This is the third video in that series, and if you haven't seen the first two yet, you should check them out. The first video covers how to target the right data scientist position for you, and the second video looks at how to get interviews. With that, this third video is about what to do while you work on getting interviews. I'm going to be talking about interview preparation. We will look at different types of interviews you will encounter when pursuing an analytics-driven or algorithm-driven data scientist roles and the method I recommend to prepare efficiently and effectively. Let's get started. When interviewing for a data scientist role at the tech company, you need to be prepared to face multiple types of interviews. So the first critical part of preparation is knowing what interviews you should expect and what the interviewer expects from you in each of those interviews. I have talked about the types of interviews before in some of my previous videos and the blog posts, but I still want to summarize them here for anyone new to my channel and because they are so important. Before we dive into the different types, let's first consider the process a bit more. Once you make it to the interview stage for a data scientist position, what can you expect? The interview process will typically consist of one to two rounds of technical phone screen and four to six rounds of on-site interviews. Some companies also have online assessments and take-home assignments in the interview process. This is why you need to be familiar with all six types of interviews I'm about to discuss. Although you likely won't encounter all of them, if you want to make it through all the interviews and land the job, you are going to need to pass several interviews, and that takes knowing what to expect. So as we go through the types of interviews, I'm going to talk about how each of these interviews is designed and what they are used to evaluate candidates. The first type of interview I want to examine is a product case interview, which is also sometimes called the metric interview or the business case interview. The reasons that companies have this type of interview is that they want to evaluate your ability to measure and your knowledge on product and A-B testing, which are core skills of data scientists, especially analytics-driven data scientists. So the product case interview is designed to test your product knowledge and the critical thinking skills. In a product case interview, typically you are giving a business scenario or problem and then ask to explain your approach to solve the problem and make suggestions. The questions can vary quite a bit, but they may include things like figuring out why a metric has declined, designing experiments, and making decisions about whether to launch a product or not. Some example interview questions are, can you provide some metrics to measure user engagement? What are the pros and the cons of using them? What are the things to consider when designing an experiment? To do well in this interview, you will need to demonstrate an ability to design metrics, diagnose metric shifts, and have ideas about how to improve a product and solve business problems. To learn more about this type of interview and how to prepare, I recommend checking out this whole playlist on cracking this kind of interview, which including not only tips, but also sample answers to real interview questions. The second type of interview is the SQL interview. This interview is critical, as SQL is used very often in the daily job of a data scientist. Whether you work for a small or big company, you will use this tool consistently to do data analysis, diagnose issues, and gather insights from data. Therefore, you must demonstrate proficiency in this interview. The SQL interview will test your familiarity with SQL language, syntax, and function, but that isn't all. It will also test your ability to logically understand the problem and create efficient queries in a short amount of time. The questions cover things from filtering data and joining different tables to computing complex business metrics on users' activities or system logs. Here, I'm not going to give sample questions for this type of interview because you can find many sample questions on LeetCode and HackerRank. Moving on to the third type of interview, and that is probability and statistics interview. This interview is as technical as it gets. The questions will test your knowledge of applied statistics and probability. Applied statistics is particularly important as a data scientist. It helps you with leading A-B testing, doing data analysis, and making data-driven decisions. Thus, the probability and the statistic interview is where you must demonstrate that you have the technical skills necessary to perform the job. The question in this type of interview can be conceptual, such as, what is p-value? How do you calculate confidence interval? Can you explain the central limit theorem? 
What are the assumptions of linear regression? They can also involve calculations such as what is the probability of obtaining two consecutive heads from five coin tosses? What's the probability of winning a game given some specific conditions? If you want to get a better sense of statistics interview questions, feel free to check out another playlist on my channel where I go over some common asked questions and answers. Before going on to the next type of interview, I want to pause here for a moment. If you are looking for a position in the analytics-driven track, then the three types of interviews I have discussed so far should be your main focus. They are what you are most likely to encounter when pursuing an analytics position. Moving on, we have the machine learning interview. This interview is closely related to the responsibilities in an algorithm-driven position. You must demonstrate your knowledge of the basics of machine learning. The questions will look at things like how machine learning models work, the pros and cons of different models, techniques that are applied when dealing with different datasets and tuning parameters. Example questions for this type of interview include what is the overfitting problem? How do you deal with it? How do you deal with an imbalanced dataset? What does random in random forest model mean? What are some metrics to evaluate a classification model? For more information on machine learning interviews, I recommend this blog post by me and my friend Z, who is a machine learning engineer at Google. My channel also have a playlist about machine learning interviews, which covers various topics from an overview of machine learning interview to the implementation of common ask algorithms. The next type of interview is a coding interview. This interview tests your coding ability, which includes proficiency in programming or scripting languages such as Python. Additionally, you will need to show that you possess computer science fundamentals, including an understanding of commonly used algorithms and the data structures. Some people consider coding interview to be the same as a SQL interview, but it's actually not. The coding interview refers to coding up algorithms like binary search, quick select, and data structures like list, stack, queue, tree, and graph, etc. The questions vary from implementing a simple algorithm such as a quick select to solving a more complicated problem involving using a search algorithm such as a BFS or DFS on a tree or a graph data structure. In this interview, you are expected to have a logical understanding of the problems and be able to come up with efficient solutions within a limited amount of time. I will not give sample questions for this type of interview, as most of you are familiar with LeetCode, where you can find many examples. So if you are looking for a data science role in the algorithm-driven track, then the code interview and the machine learning interview will frequently appear in the interview process. Finally, the last type of interview I want to discuss is the behavior and experience interview. In this interview, you will be asked about what you would do in hypothetical situations and also about how you have worked with others in the past. You will also be asked about past teams as well as past projects. The goal is to make sure that you fit with the coming culture. As a candidate, it is crucial that you don't overlook this interview thinking that they are not as important. They are most certainly important. Big companies such as Google and Amazon are putting more emphasis on these interviews. Here are some example questions. Can you talk about a previous data science project you have done? What problems have you solved at your current or previous job? And how did it contribute to the overall success of the company? Can you tell me a time you went above and beyond your responsibilities? What are some of the difficulties you have faced in the past with your work? How did you resolve them? If you want to learn more about behavior interviews, don't worry, I have you covered. I also have a playlist on behavior interviews including how to present past projects and the do's and the don'ts in a behavior interview. Now, that's all the types of interviews I'm going to discuss in this video. I know I have mentioned quite a few resources as I have been going, but don't worry if you have missed any. I have organized all of them in the description below, so you can easily find them. We have covered six types of interviews, which is quite a lot to keep track of. Remember that the type of position you target will affect which interviews you need to focus on. For an analytics-driven roles, you should prioritize the product case and the SQL interviews. For the algorithm-driven roles, you should focus more on coding and machine learning. The probability and the statistic interview and the behavior and the experience interview will be important for both of them. So those are the types of interviews, and at this point, you may be starting to feel overwhelmed. 
even when you consider which position you are targeting, there is still a lot of interview preparation to do. How should you approach such a large task? The interview preparation method I recommend is a non-company specific approach. A non-company specific approach means focusing on building a strong foundation and working on the fundamentals like statistics, product case, and A-B testing first before approaching real interview questions. To understand why I recommend the non-company specific approach, it helps to look more closely at the alternative, which will be a company specific approach. Many people prepare for interviews this way. When they get an interview for a specific company, they look up sample interview questions online and prepare for the interview that way. So why is a company specific approach not recommended? The first reason is that you don't have time to get fully ready. If you wait until you actually have interviews to start preparing, you are going to have a lot to cover in a very limited amount of time, especially if you have interviews with more than one company. There are a lot of interview types, so if you start only once you have an interview, you are going to be doing a lot of cramming. You likely won't be able to start everything, and you won't have time to start anything really well. Sometimes I have students sharing this kind of experience with me. I cannot believe I failed the interview because of the simple SQL question or because of the simple statistics question. When looking into why, it turns out that they spend all the time focusing on collecting common specific questions online, hoping to get the exact same questions during the real interview. And what ended up happening was that they did not get enough time to brush up the basics, nor did they get the interview questions they prepared. Another reason I don't recommend a company specific approach is that it forces you to start from scratch with every interview, and it leaves you with a rigid rather than a flexible working knowledge. If your preparation is focused on learning the answers to questions you find online, then you may not be able to adapt to questions that differ from what you studied. This makes it especially difficult to answer follow up questions. You will also be out of luck if you cannot find questions online or if the interviewer just happens to ask different questions than what you found, which is a very real possibility. In contrast, a non-company specific approach gives you a deeper understanding and is actually more efficient. You can start and you should start before you land an interview, which means more overall time to prepare. And if you have multiple interviews approaching, you can prepare for them all simultaneously. Considering how many types of interviews there are, being able to prepare efficiently is hugely important. A non-company specific approach is even more valuable for the type of knowledge it gives you. When you focus on the fundamentals rather than specific questions, you are truly learning rather than memorizing. This type of approach forces you to become far more comfortable and confident with the information. When you learn things this way, you won't have to relearn them again for every interview, again making this method more efficient. So as you start your interview preparation, whether you have landed your first interview or not, I recommend a more general approach. It can feel like there is far too much information to study this way, but in the long run, it will actually save you time and help you be better prepared. All right, guys, that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated about all my new content especially since we still have one video left in this series on landing a data science job in 2022. Learning all the topics I introduced you to in this video can be overwhelming, and that's exactly why in the final video, I will give you some tips on how to organize and plan your studies, how to prioritize what to learn, and how to set daily ratios and goals so that you stay motivated. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.